Let's go now to Sonia in Harmony. Sonia, you're on News Talk WDBO. Go ahead. Hello, and thank you for taking my call today. You're welcome. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering, what are the grounds for a restraining order? Yeah. You know, I don't know for sure, but I do know this, Sonia, for generally they are handed out pretty easily, okay? So anytime that you have gone to court and asked for a restraining order because somebody is harassing you or threatening you, for the most part, the judge is not going to quiz you about it. For the most part, the judge is going to grant it. And what they will grant to you, Sonia, is what's called a temporary restraining order. Without much evidence at all, the court's going to say, Sonia, you want it? We're going to give it to you. It's good for 15 days. We're going to immediately give notice to the other side of the uh, other side that you're getting a restraining order against. We will have you both in, back in court in a couple of weeks. We'll hear what he has to say. If this is appropriate, we'll keep the restraining order in place. If it's not appropriate, then we will uh, remove the restraining order, Sonia. So I think um, don't if you are if you feel threatened or concerned by somebody else, then go forward with Sonia. It's going to be granted to you. Now, with that said, I want to say this, that Paul Noonan, he's my family law divorce attorney. He might have more detailed information on getting a restraining order. Paul Noonan, my family law divorce attorney, is at my office right now, 407-423-5561.